Hey everybody, in this video we're going to just show you some note flight basics so that you can get going, hit the ground running, and uh, have success right away. The one thing that I really like about the note flight program, it is so easy to learn, it is so easy to use, it's very intuitive, and they've done a great job of really building in ease of use. And so I think you're going to really, really enjoy it and find that it is a, a good program and that you can do a lot with it. Now. This is my desktop. Somewhere on your desktop, you're gonna have a create button. Now yours may look a little different than mine, but you'll find a create button. It could be here. Of course, if you click on the Note Flight logo, it's there also. But if I hit create, it now gives me a bunch of pre-made options that I can use. There's rock band, string quartet, come all the way down here, there's barbershop quartet. But for our purposes today, we're gonna to look at just the treble clef. But you click which clef, which staff that you want to start with, and then just hit OK, and there it is. So I now have a treble staff. I've got my time signature. Everything's laid out here. To enter in notes, I just click on a staff, and then all of a sudden my cursor turns into a note hit, and then I just click where I want the note. It's just that easy. Now, if I don't want it to be a quarter note, I make sure it's highlighted orange, and then up here under the durations tab, I change it to a half note, and note flight also fills in the rest. Now let's talk about these menu options up here. There's a lot of them up here, and sometimes they can be confusing and in the way, and you don't want everything up there. On these three lines, you click that, these line up with this, and if you don't want something to be shown, then you click it, and that menu option goes away, and it frees up, and it lets you have just what you need up at the top here. Uh, once again, very easy to use. Another feature, if you hit the keyboard, the piano shows up at the bottom, you click in the measure, it tells you which note you're playing. The next note, I want it to be an A, and I want to move up, and I want to keep moving, and it automatically enters it for you. Once again, you don't want them to be half notes, highlight it, go up to duration, and all of a sudden I've changed it to a quarter. It's just that easy. Now, if you have questions, what NoteFlight has also done is under the guide button up here in the top right, you click that, just type in what you're looking for. I want to change the time signature. Well, it shows me here where it is, and when I hover over it, it also shows me over here where it's located, so it's easy, easy to use, easy to use. Now, let's say you get something like this from your director, and they want you to turn this rhythm into a composition. There's some shortcuts you can use too. Uh, I can click on a note that I want to move, and then with my up and down arrows, I can move that note. Left and right, go up, move over. I can move that one down. I don't like that B flat. I want to go back, so I'll just hit my left arrow and move it around. And if you don't like something, backspace and delete it and move it around and have fun with it. Just just play, just play. That's what it's all about. Now, when you're finished with any assignment or you get some stuff done, make sure you hit that save button up there. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna save it uh, in your little uh, spot in Note Flight. And that way, if you wanna come back to it later, uh, it's there ready to go. Couple other things as we close this video out. The same shortcuts that you would use in a document, you can use in Note Flight. Uh, control, C will copy that measure. Control X deletes that measure. Control V, paste it back. So the same kind of shortcuts that you're used to in a document are in no flight. The best thing you can do is just sit around and play. Have fun with it. Um, you're not going to hurt anything. Oh, you're gonna, and you never know, you might just create uh, the next masterpiece. But these are little, a few note flight shortcuts, tips and tricks to get you going. And I know that when you do get going with this, you're going to love it. So good luck.